Hey guys, old school customized brought to you again. I hope you guys are enjoying your night. Or whatever you're doing, it makes you happy. Or you can build some hot rocks. Either way guys, today I'm gonna do a little work on the Wicked 55. See back there. And I've been doing a little work on it. Then you know working on I'm still working on the lights, trying to get that light uh brake switch. It should be coming along. So a few days from now I'll get that switch and I'll get that switch put on, on the you know on the Wicked 55 to get those brakes going, those brake lights going. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the on this. I guess it's a module. I think I talked about it the last time. I don't like the way it's dangling right now. I'm gonna show you. See right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little plate so I can. I'm gonna bolt it on to these holes. Make a little plate with that there, and then get this piece too. I don't know if it's a regulator. I don't know what it's called. I, forget, but I mean, that, that. I know it's this probably a module, but I want to get this, get this wire hanging, you know, on that plate, so it won't be, you know, dangling here. So hopefully I can get that going right now. So we'll go ahead and get some steel tied up. The only thing that sucks is I need to start buying me some a bolt kit because I ain't got no bolts really. And I'm um, trying to get some bolts that won't have no issues. I'm watching this Spangler Banner right now. I'm watching a little bit of Southeast Gasser. Awesome. Let's salute America, man. Awesome. Either way, guys, I got these bolts here. These are the only ones I got, so I'm going to use these for now. Yeah, I know I got these bolts here, but they're going to be in the inside. So I can um, tie it up because they have, they have that little... They're not fully thread, so... That's all I have for right now to buy me some better bolts. Then I'm gonna use these bolts to tie up those uh, the module and that I guess that relay. Yeah, that's what it is. It's called relay. Just for the meantime, until I get me some bolts. So this is the sheet of metal. I already got it all lined up. Got to make the holes and the ones for the module and then the relay, just to mount it on there so it won't be dangling. So we'll go ahead and get that going right now, guys. Camera set up. And, um, I know the light is not too great, man. I don't know if that helps. Either way, I'm gonna get this cut up. We'll get my safety glasses. Let's do it. 
I gotta go to the steel place and go get some more of this. This is 14 gauge, so it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take it over there, make the holes, measure, and then come back over here. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I don't know if you can see very well, but what about that? I got the holes right there and right there, so I gotta just drill that and then bend that a little bit. I will need the vise. I'm gonna have to bend it a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and drill this. This is my light because that's all I have. Put this up. I don't need this no more. to be this size I think you can see it pretty good that's how big the bolts gotta be so I'll probably start small and then work my way up I didn't get too crazy for you people out there when that so-called solar eclipse came. Cause I mean, it got dark a little bit here in San Antonio, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, the thing didn't even last that long, man. People making a big thing out of it. It's crazy, man. Safety glasses, bro. The bit that I have is it's not too big, so let's see what we can do. Oh, I know what I can do. I'll be right back. Not that far. Be back real quick, guys.
Johnny got me one of these bits. This works. Want to make a whole big? Use one of those. Real quick. We don't have to get it that big. Just enough for the ultra fit. in the wheels. I might want to clean that a little bit. Let me go get my grinder real quick. Just a little cleaning real quick. Just kind of like smooth it out. cleaned up a little bit now I'm gonna go check it and then kind of more likely find out where I need to bend it a little bit because I'm gonna kind of like arch it a little bit you'll see once I I'm uh, I'll take the camera over there
what I did, I marked it. I don't know, you can barely see the line there. It's kind of hard to see. Either way, it's right underneath where the hole's at. It, I know it's hard to light and everything, but that's what I'm gonna go ahead and bend. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the vise and just bend it little by little. Cause I don't want it to be straight, kind of an angle. See, got that little angle to it. You can see it like that. See that? So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out real quick. Make the holes for the thing, mount the things, and then boom, we should be done. Bring the camera over there, guys, so you can see me mount it on, and then we'll get back over here and drilling. It's like that's why I need a camera, man. I need someone to help me, but my girl's not around, so I gotta do it on my own. So let me see where I can get this camera set up that way, you guys can see. stuff in a way yeah that's pretty good do that right here so we'll go ahead and get that get the light more of this one so I'm gonna go ahead and get that bracket get the bolts on there real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and um we'll go ahead and measure the where the module and the relay is gonna be at we'll, We'll just kind of like mark it, go back over there, drill it, and then just like I only got two bolts on there for now, and we're just gonna mount it on there just for now. So let me go get that plate real quick. So, you kind of get the idea how I'm going to put it. It's going to go like that. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it too well, man. But, yeah, it's right there. I guess I'm blocking it. That's where it's going to go. I didn't want it to be dangling on there, so I figured I might as well, like, fabricate. Just like I did the fabrication on the battery mount. I'm gonna do this too. I mean, I have to put some washers on. I guess I'll put some washers because I don't know what's going Maybe so it won't be kind of be thick enough. Kind of get the idea of what, I'm, what I'm planning to do. You can see it. I want to kind of cover it a little bit. 
And I'll just leave it like that for right now. So this one, I'm gonna go like here, just like that. The other one, I'm gonna go right next to it, just like that. You know, wires are kind of stretch, but. At least it won't be hanging on the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. You can, right there, see that? That's where I'm gonna put it. And all that wire in there, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with some plastic so that there won't be all these wires hanging all the way through. Some of these wires are kind of old, man. I'm gonna have to rewire everything. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's my plan. There's a wire here that's barely even hanging on there. Look like it just came off. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix all this stuff. main thing is trying to get this on there so I'm gonna go ahead and just make one once one uh, hole in each one and then the other one boom that's for that one I can't make the screws too big because the bolts that I'm using they're like they're kind of like uh, like they're the screw on bolts they don't have a, a, a you know they don't have a bolt in the back like this you know a regular bolt like that you just like tying them up and that's it so I can't make the hole too big so uh, at least I know where it's at I just gotta make sure that uh, I don't make the hole too big. So then, then I'm really screwed because I don't got no bolts. I need to go buy me. I'm going to go buy me a kit tomorrow. Or probably go, buy, go to Harbor Freights and buy me some, some a bolt kit because I don't have bolts. I have bolts thrown everywhere, but not the ones that I need. That's the problem. So I got the holes on there, you can see. There's one there and then one here for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up over at the table and I'll be back and get you. All right guys, we're back at the table. I got the, the uh, metal thing, you know, clamped down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, drill the holes. These are the bolts I'm talking about. You can see there. It's just like regular screw on bolts. In fact, these are the ones that I was having a hard time trying to take off when I was taking off those inner fenders. So I might as well just use them. So, like I said, can't make the hole too big. Probably just enough for it to grab on, just for the meantime. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to get as close as I can. And... I'll get my glove.
get up. Get a ratchet. I mean, we have to make it a little bit bigger. We can. That's fine. It was just for it, for it to fit. It's always better to test them out first before you know you go over there and try to put it on. You know what I mean? At least this way you know it's gonna work. So got that. get over there right now all right guys I'm back I need to go get a wrench and a few sockets I don't need the glasses either way um, I got the thing fabricated got the bolts on there it's gonna go on there I I probably don't even think I need any other bolts I think it'll stay on there pretty good because like, it was on there like that uh, before on the on um on the car itself it was like that sorry about the light guys let me use it back up a little bit no, i don't like that light no way. it's not working for me man. let me see what i can do and that one I feel like i'm in the sun <laughs> Um, like it's not giving good reflection on the, on the mirror. Hold on, guys. Let me get this set up. All right, guys. Man, sorry about the lighting. I know. hope you guys can see that. That's why I need to extend my garage. So I can have better lighting out here because it's too dark. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and put the little the plate on here like that and um go ahead and tie it down and um we'll go ahead and go from there i think i'm gonna go ahead and just put the the bolts in to the front and then put these to the back i think it'd be a lot better um it'll start going on the back It's hard to put two bolts at the same time, man. And then tie up, squeeze it in there. But I got it. Cut that one. Get this side.
better because we're more than doing this thing. Looking at my back. I got that one in. So, I'm going to get that tying up. Save me money, you know. Try to get this stuff done. Either why I won't be hanging all over the place. That'll work. Oh yeah. Now I can just put on the module. Yeah. I ain't hitting myself with that hook. Yeah, I got that box in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one on. And we should be done. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in the middle. This way the wires won't be hanging all over the place.
Oh yeah. Now that looks a whole lot better. Get you guys to check it out. See for yourself. There it is. Of course, I just gotta put those wires on, but I'll go ahead and do that later. But look, it looks a whole lot better. Wires aren't dangling. All this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put like a insulation cover to them, and that way the wires won't be hanging out or anything like that. Go ahead and get the wires, you know, tied up over here. Maybe by the. Uh, probably, I don't know. I'll probably put a strap somewhere. Maybe right underneath the steering box. Right at the bottom. Not where it turns though, but right at the bottom. But look at that. That came out good, guys. I like it. It's solid. Ain't going nowhere. I think that one screw's gonna, it'll work. Look at that. It ain't moving. I don't think I need those other screws. It looks good. Awesome. All right, guys. I hope I didn't bore you guys in this video. <laughs> Sorry for the lighting, but that was the thing that I wanted to do on the Wicked 55. I finally got it done. I go ahead and do all that wiring later on. Um, I'll probably take it off again and paint it. You know, paint it like flat black. You know, make it look nice and pretty. Get all that wire situated, covered up. So next time you see it, it's gonna be all covered up, insulated. It's gonna look nice. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Guys, I got tongue tied again. Yeah. Salt these gassers. Awesome. Either way, guys, I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your night. And um, if you haven't subscribed to Old School Customer, go ahead and subscribe to Old School Customer. I got more videos coming, man. And um, by the way, the front tires came in for the Malibu. So I should be getting those front rims too. And then get that alignment done and get those other wheels on there. But either way, guys, uh, go ahead and enjoy the rest of your night. And um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on Old School Custom Rights. And I appreciate all you guys who are following me. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you.